Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Derek Ruby Show. I am your host, the previously mentioned Mr. Ruby, and this is my review of Chris Jericho vs. Kenny Omega, Alpha vs. Omega, Wrestle Kingdom 12, and why you should watch it. So on January 4th, Wrestle Kingdom 12, former WWE star Chris Jericho wrestled the IWGP United States Champion Kenny Omega in what I would personally call Chris Jericho's best match in probably the last decade. Now I myself have been a wrestling fan since I was a child. I've been watching since the 1980s. And while I am a WWE fan today, New Japan Pro Wrestling has an excellent product. This match between Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega was over 35 minutes long, and I can tell you with today's wrestling product, it's very hard to keep me at the edge of my seat, especially for 35 minutes. But this match had me at the edge of my seat the entire time I was watching it. I was ready to jump up like I was a 10-year-old child at every false finish. Everything about this match lived up to the hype. The angle that led up to this match was a very NWA, Jim Crockett Promotions, Mid-South, Memphis Wrestling style beatdown with a serious issue, and it worked masterfully. Even the pre-match package that they showed before the match came on was excellent. It kept you invested the entire time. So if you're a fan of the older style wrestling, maybe you've kind of fallen out of watching current WWE, you'll definitely appreciate this. There's a lot less theatrics and a certain level of violence that's in this match that's going to really captivate you. When it comes to championship matches, New Japan has a presentation that's very MMA-like. They don't have a title match on TV and somebody loses it and wins it next week. When they have matches in New Japan, it's actually billed as a legitimate fight. So if you miss the Attitude Era days or possibly the golden era of wrestling of the 1980s, this is definitely going to be right up your alley. I'm not going to review the entire show, but it's an excellent experience. I definitely recommend that you get a New Japan World subscription. It'll cost you $9 and some change, and you'll have access to all their current wrestling as well as all the previous matches that they've had in the past. So it's actually cheaper than the WWE Network, and it's quite an alternative. This match did big business for New Japan. Chris Jericho has proved himself as a draw around the world. Last year's Wrestle Kingdom had about 25,000 paid, and this year's attendance was over 35,000 paid. There was about 43,000 in the building, and the subscription service to New Japan skyrocketed, and over half of that was outside of Japan. This was billed as a double main event, and I know some people are going to get mad at me for saying this, but I'm not taking anything away from Okada and Naito, because Okada is an excellent world heavyweight champion. And yes, they were the main event probably in Japan, but around the world, the real main event was Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho. I would even argue if you would have put Chris Jericho against their intercontinental champion Tanahashi, Kenny Omega, or Okada, it probably would have drew the same numbers. That's not to take away from Kenny Omega, because he is, after all, one of the best wrestlers in the entire world. So if you're a wrestling fan, this is good news for the entire business because it gives a place for WWE wrestlers to go if they're not happy where they're at. And it also gives WWE a place to get some really good raw talent. So I can't recommend this enough. If you're a fan of wrestling or you're a fan of old school wrestling, I definitely recommend you give New Japan a try. And if you get a chance, check out Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega because the match is going to blow you away. So I'm not going to give you a rating for the entire show, even though the entire thing is excellent. But I will say that Alpha vs. Omega, Chris Jericho vs. Kenny Omega, is 5 stars. And that match alone is worth the $9 and some change to buy the subscription in New Japan World. So thank you guys for listening to the Derek Ruby Show. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. And as always, have a good one. And I'll see you guys next time. I would even argue if you would have put Chris Jericho against their intercontinental champion Tanahashi, Kenny Omega, or Okada, it probably would have drew the same numbers.